this past week, we celebrated and said goodbye to a young man who died in a single car accident. He was well known in the community and beyond. He had played sports in high school and went on to play baseball into college. He was a star athlete and had many credits and achievements to his name. In more recent years, he was a mail carrier with inspirations to advance and move towards possibly becoming a male inspector. His high school class was a tight knit group and have remained best of friends over the years. The many stories I continued to hear was of a man who was loved and respected by many and returned the same love and respect. He was someone with his whole life before him. He was just 24 years old. What difference one's perspective makes on the world around us. And this stands in opposition to the experience I had a few summers ago in visiting the young man at our Precious Blood Ministry of Reconciliation in Chicago. They shared stories of growing up on the south side of Chicago, the challenges they faced as young black men. One man, one young man even commented that next week will be my 21st birthday. I never thought I would see the day. As we traveled around Chicago and took in some of the sights, the boys that were with us were indeed enjoying the day and the events, but at the same time too, kept looking over their shoulders, being aware of where we were. There was always an edge, an uneasiness that we couldn't completely lose. Even as we drove home one night from the loop to Precious Blood Ministry of Reconciliation, the boys took note of where we were. And when we crossed a certain street, the three boys did a nosedive under the back seat of the Suburban. One young man commented, if anyone sees us in this fancy car, they might just start shooting at us. What difference in our lives does one perspective make on the world around us. I listen to the news. I hear the stories of the violence and the protests from various places. I question and wonder just what is going on. How have things gotten so out of control? Trying to understand and put some meaning or understanding to the situation. Trying to understand it from the point of view of someone in the midst of it versus an outsider looking in. As a precious blood people, where do we stand? I just remember when the Boston Marathon bombing happened, I was watching the news with some members. And as a person came on to the news screen with a rag to wipe up the spilt blood, it was as if he was trying to erase it from our memories. And one of our community members made the comment, no, we would be standing there to honor the blood maybe wiping it up, but not to wipe it away. Where do we stand in honoring the lives of others? How do we cherish what God has shared with us? We see things differently at times, each of us in our own way. I continue to see the world from where I am, from a farm boy in the wheat fields of Kansas, to now the cornfields of Iowa. I still have much to see and experience. May my eyes continue to be open to see that I may truly understand. Mm -hmm.